Lesson 14.2, trend lines and predictions. This is the summary sign. So a trend line. There are a lot of ways to find a trend line. What we're going to look at here is kind of using a set of coordinates. Uh, find an equation that passes through a couple points. So when you have your data and it's spreading up, look through that data and kind of draw your trend line. And if you want to be a little more exacting, kind of look at find a couple of points. Uh, this goes back to the same things we were doing before with uh, linear lines. Um, so y equals mx plus b. That is really what we're looking for, so we can get that. Uh, we're really looking for y equals mx plus b. That comes back to it. So to find slope, or m, m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And b is where it crosses the y-axis, right? So uh, find two points, then find their slope. And once you find the slope, you can find the y-intercept. OK, so let's go ahead and look for this. So let's find the equation for this line that passes these points. So 4, 2, or sorry, 4, negative 10, and 10, negative 5. So m would equal y2, negative 28, minus y1, minus a minus 10, over x2, 10, minus 4. So that's going to be negative 28 plus 10, because 2 to come together to make a positive. So that would be negative 18 over 10 minus 4 is 6. And that is negative 3. So slope is negative 3. Now to find the y-intercept, remember, um, and they do show another format up here. You'll learn more about that in algebra. I'm not going to sweat it. It works incredibly well. Um, but it's not necessarily what we need right now. Uh, so, well, what the heck? Let me use it. it it's fun anyway. So y minus y1 equals... M, my, m times x minus x1. So pick two points, just pick the first one. In fact, it says here. So y would be, uh, I don't have much room on this line, do I? I'll do it down here. So y minus y1. So y1 is negative 10. So minus a negative 10 is a positive equals slope, which we found slope is negative 3 times x minus x1, which is 4. So x minus 4. So distribute. Um, and you can also use uh, your n solve, but that's not really the point right now. Actually, you can't use n solve. There's two variables. So let's distribute. I end up with y minus 10. I'm going to do it over. I'm going to do it down here at the bottom where I got some space. So y plus 10 equals negative 3 times x minus 4. I'm going to distribute, so negative 3 and then distribute. So y plus 10 equals negative 3x and negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. Now remember I want y equals something x so I'm going to move everything away from that y and it's kind of nice it's all by itself now. So minus 10 from both sides I get y equals negative 3x, 12 minus 10, plus 2. So that's my equation, y equals negative 3x plus 2. All right, let's do the second one. First of all, find the slope. So y2, 3, minus y1, which is in 14, together that means a plus, over x2, 20, minus 3. So 3 plus 14 is 17 over 20 minus 3 is 17, that equals 1. So again, stuck it in my equation here. y minus a uh, minus 14, that means I'll, it'll be plus 14, equals slope, which is 1, times x plus x1, which is 3. And that's pretty easy to distribute when it's playing like that. So I end up with y plus 14 equals x plus 3. Now again, I want to leave the y alone here, so I'm going to move this 14 over there. So I have y equals x, 
I'm sorry, I didn't do this here, minus 14. So 3 minus 14 is minus 11. So I get y equals x minus 11. Ouch. All right, let's do number three, doing the same things we did before. And we're going to see if this is true. We're going to predict y if x is 15. So same thing we did before. First of all, we're going to find our slope. I'm going to do it down here where I've got some space here. So 3, 1, remember it's y2, which is 15, minus y1, 1, over x2, 24, minus x1, 3. So that's 14 over 21. I can simplify that to 2 over 3 because it both go into 7. So slope is 2 thirds. It can be a fraction. We're happy with that. So then we do our formula up here. y plus y1, which is 1, equals 2 thirds times x plus x1, which is 3. And we do our breakdown here. So we distribute y1 plus 1 equals 2 thirds x and 2 thirds times 3 is 2. So and now I'm going to move that, take the 1 off this side, put it over here. I get y equals 2 thirds, whoops, 2 thirds x plus 1. And now I said if x is 15, so let's put the thing here. Um, the equation is y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. Now if x is 15, let's find y. So all I got to do is plug x in right here. So that would be y equals 2 thirds times 15 plus 1. Well, simple math. We got 3. How many times does it go into 15? It goes in 5 and it goes once in itself. So I end up with y equals 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So then y would equal 11. Last one, let's do this one here. Same steps, let's find the slope first. So y2 minus y1, so negative 33 minus a minus 8, which makes it plus 8. Minus a minus makes it a plus. And 8 minus 3. So negative 33 minus 8 is negative 25 over 8 minus 3 is 5. So 25 over 5 is 5 and it stays negative. So our slope is 5. So our equation becomes y minus y1, which is negative 8. So a minus a minus is a plus, equals negative 5 times x minus 3. So I do my distribution. I get y plus 8 equals negative 5x plus, because I've got a negative times a negative, that makes a positive, 15. And now I move the 8 over. So I get y equals negative 5x and 15 minus 8 is 7. So y equals negative 5x plus 7. Now I want to predict if x is 11, so all I got to do is plug it in. So y equals negative 5 times 11 plus 7. Well, 5, negative 5 times 11 is negative 55, so y equals negative 55 plus 7. Negative 55 plus 7, remember, if it's negative, whichever side is farther from 0, keep that sign and then subtract the smaller. So negative 48. So y would be negative 48. Um, I'm just going to draw a little stick man because it seems right now. Yay! It kind of looks like he's sword fighting. On God. Okay, there's my little stick man who's sword fighting. Hope that helps.